Hey, this is Dave Away coming to you live from Novi Sad, Serbia. Today I'm going to be taking you through the green market. It's where all the fresh produce and vegetables and meats and a few other household goods are sold. Uh, apparently the vendors, a majority of them have their own farms and I think it'll be a good time. Come join me. So here you have all the flowers and perennials vendors. Up here you have the produce. Right here is meats like chicken, eggs. Right here's where you can buy your eggs at from the vendors. You get whole chickens with uh, the liver. Quite a few vendors. You want to come early in the morning because the vendors will start closing shop around 3 p.m. Got some desserts right here. Hi, how are you? Looks good. And there's, uh, so you got your uh, homemade honey over here. Each vendor kind of sells their own honey next to its wine and rakia. And I think the eggs, the eggs are around 14 cents each. Again, you have some of your household goods here. You can see that. Some jackets. Clothes. Some gloves. And again, here's your fresh produce. It's towards uh, it's November right now, so you're not going to have a lot of necessarily local fruits. We'll get around to the fruit section here in a minute. Got your regular stuff here, your broccoli and your beets, cauliflower, celery. Here they put their prices on it, a few items anyway. Some paprika spice and tomato juice.
As you can see, here's the truck they bring the produce in on. A lot of it's from the field. Most of it's from local farmers. Not all of it, but most of it is. Watch out for the tomatoes sometimes. Here's some items with some prices on it. That looks good. We've got spices here too. Huh. Peppercorn. Some stuff here. One of the things you'll have to do is uh, obviously pick up the local language. You're going to have about 50% of the people that do not speak English. Uh, I got a little lucky there. So uh, over here is where they sell the cheese at. Here's an illustration. Most vendors sell like goat cheese or like fresh cheese, no aged cheese, no European cheeses. The European cheeses you'd have to get in um, the store. So over here is the fruit section, as you can see. So obviously they don't grow pineapples or bananas here. So again, uh, you know, some of it is local and some of it is probably from a, a di uh, vegetable or produce distribution center. So and here you have uh, nuts with the prices on them. Usually they're priced per kilo. Looks pretty good. And again, the honey, they, the bees will land on different types of flowers. Sometimes it's uh, wildflower honey or uh, clover honey or stuff like that. And they'll allow you to take a tasting of it. And here's your rakia and your wines right here again. So each vendor sells a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything that they can, right? Make some extra money. Here's some grapefruits. Here's some of the prices. Pomegranates, chestnuts. Just like any market in the world, or uh, a lot of green markets, you gotta fight a little bit to get to, uh, get to the produce stand. Here's some um, Ivar, what's really popular here. It's, uh, it's like a, a red bell pepper or a, uh, it's really paprika peppers and they cook it up and jar it. So, and then again, the honey and the rakia. Hello. 
I bought from this vendor yesterday. He puts his prices out, so you can see he's got uh, apples and pomegranates and everything else. Okay, thank you. It's got a, it's got flour here, T500, T850, okay. Mm -hmm. Got the meats over here and everything. Yeah, it's pretty lively. I'd imagine uh, today the sun's out, so you're going to have quite a few more people. So, you got your lettuce here. And she's got the prices on them, 300 for spinach and paprika. And you have it ground up. There's, like, powder and then coarse. And then she'll use the scale uh, right here to weigh it. And see, again, here's her local farm. So... Uh, a lot of these vendors sell their their goods uh, straight from their farm here to the produce center. Then you got again another local farm here, right? So sometimes they'll have a website or contact information, and sometimes they don't. You just got to show up to the green market to get their goods. Here's some more fruits. She's got the prices on them. I always like the vendors with the prices on them because I'm not real familiar with. Uh, pricing of produce and everything, but you at least get, uh, it's probably a little cheaper here on most items, but um, every once in a while you got to watch out. The supermarkets aren't too bad, depending on which one you go to. Obviously they don't, uh, you know, they don't uh, grow kiwi here. But, uh, still. Also at the green market, they have a bakery here, as you can see. So, so the meat section is here. Here's the name. Usually it's, uh, it's a different kind of steak they have here. They don't really have Angus beef. On occasion, you can find it. I'll have to find out more about the butchers here, but mostly it's pork and chicken that's sold. Um, maybe I'll take you around to the other side real quick and then we'll finish up. No, I think we'll finish up here. Let's see what's going on. And then I'll take you to the fish section. So those uh, of you that want your festive look at the house or your fall colors, you can also cook those up. Oh, and just when you didn't think there was all sorts of peppers, they have a whole bunch here, which is fantastic.
I was wondering if I can make Mexican food, and it looks like you can. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff there. You can get your uh, your beans and nuts. And here's some more clothes down here, maybe some towels and knickknacks, probably more produce. But you kind of get the gist of it. So here you have fresh fish straight out of the river. And then uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's salmon. Over here, some trout. So let's kind of make our way around here a little bit. Here's for desserts. Looks like it's the Burek, Burek King. This is really popular here. You have these pastries that are filled with uh, cheese or fruit or meats. Really, it's a pastry filled with anything. So, <clears throat> looks like here's some of the prices. Looks pretty good, too. Here's the household goods I was talking about earlier. If you need containers or whatever even a step stool step ladder and it's probably cheaper to get it here i would think maybe i haven't checked prices but uh and if you do plants Here's your pots. Here's the meat section again. So you can see there's pork and there's chicken and then you got some sort of, uh, let's say hot dogs or sausages.